Baker, Minnesota. Thanks for stopping by today. Thank you for having me. When working at a growing business, you wear many hats. The new business hat. <clears throat> the buying toner for the copy machine hat. The sifting through tons of resumes hat. You can throw away that last hat thanks to Indeed.com. When posting your job, Indeed lets you add screener questions that give you a less time-consuming route to your short list of qualified candidates. So go ahead, dust off that extra-long lunch hat. Hiring's better when you've got your short list. Save time on hiring when you post a job on Indeed. Get started today at Indeed.com slash hire. By the time that we got up there, his room was filled with smoke. The wind had blown and drifted the snow up against the side of my house, blocking the exhaust from my furnace. I heard the smoke alarm going off in my friend's apartment. Without the kid a smoke alarm, my son would not be here today. And had it not been for that carbon monoxide detector, they would come to school and not have their teacher there. I grabbed my fire extinguisher and put out the fire. Kid makes technology that saves lives. Get these essential hey, products. Yeah. Just ahead. Heads up, the after you do keyword for cash and you jump card. into the show, I'm going to hey, run to the restroom real quick. Okay, okay, no problem. We're all getting new cards with unique Medicare numbers to protect our identity. They come in the mail automatically. No need to do anything. And when your new card arrives, you can use it right away. Visit Medicare.gov slash new card to see when they're mailing to your area or call 1-800-MEDICARE. That's Medicare.gov slash new card. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Telling the stories from all four corners of our great state. News Radio 830 WC. <clears throat> Tell me when I'm on. Coming back. Rob Carson filling in today. It's an honor and a privilege to be here filling in for Mr. Hartman. The number 651 989 or 9226. Pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, what I want to focus on now, we've talked a little bit about Roseanne Barr and her offensive comments and how it ended her career effectively, I guess. We'll see if she comes back. It's just kind of, we live in, we live in strange times, don't we? We live in strange times. Um, words are offensive in a country that is protected by the First Amendment, which is an amendment meant to protect offensive speech. <laughs> it is, it's it's kind of crazy, right? Just kind of crazy. I want to get into a little bit about uh, the direction of the Democrat Party. And like I said, not all of this is going to be uh, political. There's, there's, there's some political things to cover today. I got some great local stories. Did you know there's a weedy shortage? I have a close tie with uh, General Mills. I'll explain that very shortly. But there, there's a weedy shortage. Why? Why is there a weedy shortage? We'll get into that very shortly. And then also, what constitutes a perfect day? What constitutes a perfect day for you? Kind of depends on the day, right? I had a, I had a great day yesterday. Woo, woo, woo. I had a really good day yesterday. I'll share my story and, and get your thoughts. We'll do that next hour, the last hour of the show. What constitutes a, a perfect day? There's a, there's a new poll out about what people think is awesome about a perfect day. Whether it be the weather, the weather, dear Lord in heaven. I mean, the weather right now, woo, fantastic weather. Fantastic weather. So that'll be uh, on the plate as well. Much to get to. Uh, you know, the, the, this little this little guy, this little 13-year-old who had the hot dog stand and, and uh, mercifully uh, public health officials allowed him to keep his uh, hot dog stand, made national news. This good kid. Jaquan Faulkner. He, he's like me when I was a kid. I was entrepreneurial, man. I wanted to make money. Health department officials uh, went by and said, "You know, you can't have this." But here's the deal: we're gonna we're gonna tell you how to get a, uh, you know, a permit and how to do this safely. I thought that was very magnanimous of a government agency. We haven't seen that in a while. Oscar Mayer Wienermobile visited him, by the way, <laughs> and gave him free hot dogs, a ride in the Wienermobile, which I've ridden in. Thank you very much, and I'm not speaking metaphorically. Uh, and a weedy whistle. He got a weedy whistle as well. Very cool for Oscar Mayer to do that. So. Coming up in a second, uh, we are going to talk about uh, socialism, socialism in this country. And is it the future of the Democrat Party? And I'd like to know if you are a Democrat, that's fine. You know, we can agree to disagree. Is, is this where you want to go? Is this the way you want to go? Um, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, she's the new bell of the Democrat Party. Is this the right way to go with the Democrat Party? Your number or your your calls are welcome. 651-989-9226. 651 
9226. Now, we do have a, a very cool national contest. It's a keyword for cash. Let's do that, shall we? All right. So the keyword for cash is fail, F-A-I-L, which is a metaphor for my career, actually. Kind of cool. Uh, one more time, it is F-A-I-L, fail. Text that keyword to 72881 for your chance to win 1000 bucks. Again, the, the number to text is 72881. And the keyword is fail, F-A-I-L. And if you don't win this time, listen for your next chance to win coming at uh, 9, 12 a.m. Okay. Messaging and dating rates, data rates may apply. And remember, please don't text and drive because that's the ultimate fail. So how do you feel about um, socialism? I know that the DFL is a pretty socialistic organization, and I haven't lived in the Twin Cities in a number of years. But yeah, DFL is a very pretty left-leaning organization. And there are some organizations that have been preaching the... Uh, because they don't understand, they don't realize the folly of repeating history when it's negative. Socialism is a net negative. It's been the ultimate fail, which, by the way, is the key word for cash. Socialism is, and you may think, oh, you know, yet yeah, Switzerland has it. It's so wonderful. Well, you know what? Switzerland is a benevolent little country that has very few people in it. And apparently that works for them. But it doesn't work on the macro level it might work on the micro level when people are benevolent and they're not nazis let's look at uh, socialism through history uh there's the uh, national socialist german workers party what was that it was nazis okay i'm not saying all people who think that they're socialists or or the ultimate oxymoron which is democrat socialists <laughs> democrat social jumbo shrimp sure you're a Democrat socialist or Democratic socialist. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Let's see how those juxtapose. There was this big country. What the hell was it? A couple of years ago. It was like 1988. I think it collapsed. It was a United Soviet Socialist Republic. What was that? What was that? I think the Beatles had a song about it. The USSR. United Socialist. Uh, United Soviet Socialist Republic. Okay. So socialism has been tried and true. I remember when I was in high school, we had this debate. And people would say, you know, communism is really good. Communism and socialism are good. They just haven't been done right. Well, how many times do you have to do it wrong where 100 million people are killed in the last century where you go, hey, you know what, maybe not such a good idea. Maybe not such a good idea. But right now we have some, you know, some superstars. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who was in New York, who beat an incumbent Democrat in a primary, and suddenly she is the belle of the ball. She's all over the place. And I'd like to know from you Democrats, are you down with going socialist? Is this cool with you? I'm 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 a I'm not a I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I am a libertarian, leaning conservative, independent. Okay, I'll just tell you that right now. But I'm not down with socialism. But if you think socialism is the way for the Democrat Party to go, I, I'd like to know your thoughts. Six five one nine eight nine nine two two six. Um, if socialist candidates are the uh, future of the Democrat Party, the future apparently doesn't appear to be too bright, according to a new Hill TV and Harris poll. Seventy percent of respondents in a uh, recent survey said they would not vote for a socialist candidate. Twenty four percent of those polled said they have no problem with the hypothetical candidate. Those results conflict with Democrat National Committee uh, Ch uh, 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 Chairman Tom Perez. He says that uh, young, young politicians like Alexandria o uh, Ocasio-Cortez represents the future of the party. Well, uh, you know, what do you think? What do you think? Is this the future of the party? I, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm, I'm fighting it because I, I disagree with it. I, I do. I disagree with the, the hey, concept of, of socialism. Sorry for a second, Lindsay in the studio. Can I interrupt? Of course. We need to redo. Give me one second here. Sure. So redo it, but this time the word is reality. Like oh, okay. Reality television. Okay, very good. I'm backtracking real quick. We had the wrong word for 112, so we apologize for the mistake. The word is reality. You're going to want to text that to 72881. <sighs> 
It is R-E-A-L-I-T-Y. Appreciate our listeners for calling in and, and making that known. I you know what? for missing it. I, I but, understand. You know what? I, I, I apologize. The first time on the job here today. You're uh, doing the, great. <laughs> the keyword. You know what, Chad's? Chad's had mistakes, too, on this. There's yes. lots of words. So. Well, I, I apologize. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. Let me just restate that. I apologize. I had my uh, my script in a different order. I've got a pile of stuff in here. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the text word today, right now, this moment, at this moment in time, okay, is reality. I apologize for that. Uh, national contest, the, cash, the key word for cash is reality. Um, reality... I live in an alternative one. Uh, just text that keyword to 72881 for your chance to win $1,000. Again, the number to text is 72881. The keyword is reality. All right, I apologize. Uh, messaging and data rates may apply. And remember, please don't text and drive. We got it right? We cool? All right. We are good. Lindsay, I apologize. Uh, you know, this, like I said, my first time, it's the baby steps. No baby worries, steps. No worries. Baby steps. I haven't had to use the dump button yet. You're okay. <laughs> no, I won't say anything that will cause you to use the dump button. Um, anyway, we're talking a little bit about uh, the, the the direction of the Democrat Party, and I'd like to know your thoughts. And again, I'm not I'm not here to be. I am not here to be confrontational. I want to be understanding. I'm actually a, a conservative libertarian who who likes to listen, and maybe even you might consider having a sense of humor. So let's have an open discussion. Do you like this? Do you like this direction for the Democrat Party? Leaning left, 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 left. Because I don't think it's going to help. When you've got a president who now is a 4.1% uh, uh, percent GDP rating, uh, ISIS is on the run, a lot of really positive things happening for unemployment and all that stuff. Is this where you want to go? All right. Love to know your thoughts. I believe, do we have Terry in Apple Valley? Is Terry available right now? Nope, Michael and Egan's on. Michael and Egan, we've been waiting all day for you, Michael. Welcome to the show. My name is Rob Carson. Your thoughts, my friend? Oh, I, well, I'm maybe not the best person to answer this question because I wouldn't <laughs> consider myself a Democrat. Yes, sir. Um, I'm more of a moderate, independent conservative. Sure. Maybe in the same stripe as you. I don't know. Sure. Um, but my biggest problem that I see from the Democrats is the way they use the word socialist. Yeah. They like point to Denmark, point to uh, Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, those are market economies. They have very generous welfare states. But you ask the Denmark government, are you socialist? And the Denmark government goes, no, 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 we're not socialist. And the reason they do that is very simple. It's never worked anywhere. Yeah. If you look at truly socialist countries, Venezuela, Cuba, North Korea, you don't want to live there. No, no. No, I would say I would say that I, I would uh, I would actually separate North Korea from those countries. Uh, North Korea is a dictatorship. North Korea is not socialistic. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm with you on the other ones. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, these are little microcosms of what they consider to be socialism, and they appear to be working for very little dinky countries where people are cool with giving up 80% of their income to government. Ain't going to work for, the, for yeah. the big countries. When it, when it has been tried in the big countries, people end up being shot. Go ahead. Yeah, but even those little countries, it wouldn't work. True socialism, meaning government control of the means of production. Government owns everything. Private property does not exist. Yeah which is what true socialism is, at least if you read Marx or any of the yeah. early socialist philosophers, um, that's not worked anywhere. And it would not work in those small countries either. Yeah. Michael, I, I guess I don't understand why we continue to have this debate. It's, a, it's an age-old debate. Like I said, it's been around since I, before I was in my 20s. And people say, you know, communism and socialism really work. It just hasn't been, it hasn't been done well enough. Well, it resulted in the death of 100 million people last century. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think the biggest problem is that people fundamentally think that humans are good. That if left with absolute power, there's people out there who are angels who will magically run all this for us. I mm. think uh, I'm trying to think of the economist who used that word back in the 80s. Okay. Um, uh, with a, but the reality is you get absolute power and even, I would not trust myself with that power. Yeah. I certainly wouldn't trust you. <laughs> you obviously have read Lord of the Flies. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> not. I don't. I don't remember if I've read that one or not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. But it, it, you know, I I know the sure, sure, general sure. storyline. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Does, go ahead. But it is. It is just a reality that human beings left to our own devices tend to misuse our power. Well, I, th- and, I, I, um, I think some of us do, but some of us don't as well. But listen, I appreciate your phone call today. Thank you for calling in. Um, yeah, yeah, and the reason why we're having this debate, and again, I don't want to spend the entire day on politics, and I, I apologize. We're kind of leaning that way. No, actually, I don't, because it's kind of an interesting uh, debate. There is a politician in New York that, uh, you know, she's very popular and she's very attractive and uh, she's very likable. Her name is Alexandria Cort- Ocasio-Cortez. And um, she is uh, like the new face of the Democrat Party. And I, I don't understand why. Listen, if your party needs a savior, then your party is failing. All right. I'm going to say the same thing about the Republican Party. If your party needs a, a, a savior then you're failing, right? Somehow, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is the savior of the Democrat Party. She's a really big deal in the Democrat Party. Now, I just read statistics saying that people in this country don't want socialism, but she is, according to the, you know, the Democrat Party, the savior of the Democrat Party. Here is the chair of the uh, the DCC. This guy's name is uh, Ben Ray Luyan from New Mexico, chairman of the Democrat Congressional Campaign Committee. And he said earlier this week that she really is kind of the uh, the future of the Democrat Party. Do you agree with this as Democrats? I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. 651-989-9226. Or if you are on the other side, are you saying, keep it coming, guys. Please, lean left of left of left, because it's just going to cost you in November. Do you think that uh, the Democratic Socialist Party of America, do you think they'll have a place in the Democratic caucus? Well, when you see the work that Senator Sanders is doing and the work that Alexandria is doing, they're driving a conversation about how policies impact people that they're fighting to represent. Do you think that conversation helps you win back the House or does it hurt your efforts? Anytime we're having a conversation in the country that is about how you can make people's lives better, that's a positive conversation that we should have rather than Republicans being distracted with what this administration is doing, um, you know, in Inviting President Putin to the White House, the president and Rahal. You got to have these uh, kind of um, uh, meetings with leaders that you disagree with, right? Don't you? Trevor Noah, you ever watch uh, Trevor Noah? I got another against uh, Trevor Noah. He hosts The Daily Show now. And, you know, he's got a political agenda, and that's, that's perfectly fine. Trevor Noah actually talked last night with, um, with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez about how she plans to pay for her agenda, which involves health care for everybody, education for everybody, cutting the military. Here is the exchange. These numbers don't really add up. You know, in order to get health care for everybody. This- Actually, you know what? We're going to have to come back to this because I am running late on the break. Here's the number, guys. 651-989-9226. 651-989-9226. My name is Rob Carson. You're listening to News Radio 830 WCCO. Stick around. Share your opinions. Make your Sorry about that. Heard. It's okay. We're going to be back in 345. I've got to get phone calls. Okay. Do you know that arthritis, low back and neck pain, neuropathy, shoulder rotator cuff tears, tennis elbow, and plantar fasciitis, among others, can be treated with stem cell therapy instead of surgery? Find <laughs> out more at Advanced Spine and Pain Clinic of Minnesota. StemCellMN.com. It's a showdown of skill. All right. So we needed to do traffic and weather at the bottom of the hour, so okay. you can't go any farther than probably 33. No problem. No problem. One, the heater. Uh, remind me of traffic and weather, what I need to do as far as... Uh, Yep. Okay. Oh, here we go. What I sent you in the email. So um, there is no sponsor this time, so you don't have to say by Floyd Total Security. So just wait for the sounder. Uh, we've got traffic first. Jerry Peterson. Here we go. Oh, hold on. So Jerry Peterson. Okay. Hi, this is John Hines. And then I'll play the weather sounder, and then you just do current temperature. The only real dry call right now. Do I need to do the forecast? And here's why. John yeah, a short one. 77 done. degrees, Here, partly cloudy. That would be it. Or a few clouds, part, uh, 77. And then we'll go the back into commercial break six months after with that. No results. AJ had heard our endorsement. Okay, so Jerry Peterson with traffic coming up here. Barbara Corcoran recommending yep, John. Basically okay. every, exactly so what I sent you in the email. In just right, nine you. days, John's marketing expertise brought in a boatload of showings and sold AJ's home for full asking price. What a relief. 
put John Schuster Group and his marketing to work for you. Ask about the home sale guarantee. Where you agree on a price and a deadline, if that deadline hits and the home isn't sold, John will buy it. And you're never locked into a long-term contract with John Schuster. Contact John for full details today at 612-900-3333. 612-900-3333. Or online at johnschustergroup.com. That's John Schuster Group. Dot com. Walgreens has good news for anyone managing diabetes. We've got your back. That's right. Walgreens pharmacists are here to consult with you in person and answer any questions you may have about new and existing medications. You can even get free advice from our trusted experts day and night at Walgreens.com or the mobile app. Walgreens has all major brands of diabetes testing supplies right. like AccuCheck and Walgreens Dreametrics. That's not just good news. It's great news. Stop by and talk to your Walgreens pharmacist today. Walgreens, trusted since 1901. Hi, it's Jamie, progressive number one, number two employee. Leave a message at the... Hi, Jamie. It's you, Jamie. Don't hang up. You need to hear this. You gotta quit wearing that aviator jacket. Nobody's buying it. I'm sorry you have to hear it from me, but at Progressive, we're all about giving it to people straight. That's why we show our rates alongside our competitors' rates. And when you're helping people find great rates, you don't need some jacket to look cool. Just keep rocking that scarf. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparisons not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find Just a needle in a haystack, we'll be but back not here in with ZipRecruiter. Lovely! Guy. We're giving phone calls! Recruiter doesn't look, Lindsay, look what we're doing! Yay! You. Its powerful technology actively cool. invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So, while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, wow. ZipRecruiter finds Steve you even the Helen. needle in the haystack. Try ZipRecruiter now <laughs> for free. By going to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Freak, yeah, Jimmy Johns. Freak, yeah, what if I just needed one sandwich delivered? I would just freak, be aware yeah, there's a really that. bad echo with the phone sandwiches? calls. Freak, so yeah, baby I will bring down my headphones. Freak, yeah, we can do that. You know what? And I'll also bring down the pot. Sandwiches? Freak, yeah, we can do that. You know, I apologize for that. Prime number. Freak, yeah, a whole number greater than one whose only factors are one in itself. I know. I think Great. Uh... I'll take one turkey tom, please. Freak yeah, one turkey tom headphone. on the way. Freaky fresh, freaky fast, Jimmy John's, freak yeah. Live from the Carrier Cooling Studio in downtown. All right, I'll tell you when we're live. This is News Radio 830 WCC. And we're going to break at what? No later than 33. So you just got a couple of minutes here. I'm going to okay. put you live now. Rob Carson is my name filling in. On News Radio 830 WCCO. It is a thrill and a privilege to be here. Dang, you know, guys, we're talking a little bit of politics today. We're, we're uh, talking a little bit of pop culture. I've got some uh, great stuff, I think, that's non political. We'll get to you, uh, to that very shortly. Right now, the future of the Democrat Party is what we're talking about because there are a lot of people who are saying that we need to go, uh, we, I'm not a, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat. And, and for those of you who have debate, uh, debate about what Democrat and Republican are, uh, here's real simple. The Democrats believe in a strong central government. Republicans believe in states' rights, which is a you know a dog whistle for racism, right? Isn't that it? Right? No, no, no. It means that if you don't like the tax structure and the whatever going on in a state, you can move to another one rather than living in a country that is you know overwhelmingly oppressive or whatever. So that's what we're debating right now. And a lot of people are saying that the Democrat Party is moving left of left of left of left. All right? Do you like that? Do you not like that? We have Steve in Minneapolis, nice enough to wait. Hello there, Steve, and welcome to News Radio 830 WCCO. Go ahead. Well, hello, Ron. Thanks for inviting me into your show. Um, left, left, left. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have been a lifelong Twins baseball fan. Yes, sir. I remember going on, and I am so happy that WCCO, the good neighbor, has in, invited the Twins baseball team to, Amen. you know, the broadcast on CCO, the good neighbor. Yes, sir. So there, there's my plug, man. Yes. But it's not just a <laughs> plug. It, it just feels so good. Yeah, amen, brother. Uh, this is the station, I'm telling you. Now, th- give me your thoughts on the Democrat Party and, their, and, and where they're he going. Dropped. He dropped. Yes. Okay. Right. I've got Bill in Eden Prairie. Let's go to Bill in Eden Prairie. Hello there, Bill, and welcome to uh, News Radio 830 WCCO. Your thoughts, please. Hi, thanks for having me. Yes, sir. Um, first of all, I want to say I was an econ major from St. Olaf College. Um, I think for a long time I was thinking things needed to get more towards where they were in the 80s, you yeah. know, when things shifted a little bit farther right. But now I think we've gone way far right. 
Um, I mean, you just listen. I grew up in Wisconsin. Does Scott Walker say he's pulled himself by his bootstraps? Well, I don't know how possible that is anymore. Well, well, when let me Scott ask you. Walker was going to school, school was affordable. Yeah, and a well, lot of part of it was paid by the state. So you could get a summer job. You could pay for school. Sure. You could even get a school loan. You still oh, can, actually. You still can. Yeah, know, let, me, let me let me ask you this one real quick. Just let, let me let me let me. I appreciate your calling, and I I love to hear your thoughts. What did you feel about the four point one percent GDP growth today? I'm sorry, but something happened there. Went right over what you were saying. <laughs> what do you think about the four point one percent GDP growth today? I think that's good. Um, yeah. What's happening though is that more and more of what's being made in that GDP is growing to fewer and fewer and fewer people. Uh, so I need you to quantify that without just saying it. I need you to quantify it. How is that possible? Uh, the, the, the unemployment rate is at an all-time low. African American unemployment rate at a at a historical low. How how uh, quantify why things suck so badly for you? Oh no, they don't suck. I'm just saying. Yeah. Over time, ever since the '80s, you know. You, you see the, how much of the wealth is created since the crash in 2007 and eight went to a very few people. I mean, and I'm not talking people who make who own like seven, eight hundred thousand dollar homes. We're talking multi million, multi hundred millionaires. You know, sure. Their wealth increased five, six hundred percent. Many people's wealth for the longest time didn't change at all. Okay. And I think a large part of that is due to you can outsource stuff. Now we're finally getting to the point. Where we're going to see, start to see some changes, and I can see that through the contractors I hire. Sure. We're going to start to see some changes because we finally got to the point where there's nobody to hire. Yeah. Let me, let me just bring this up to you, and I, and I greatly appreciate your phone call. I really do. Um, but during the last eight years uh, of the Obama administration, the rich got richer and the poor got poorer because the Fed was dumping money into the markets um, to prop up people. And they, the people who were in the markets made a lot of money, made a lot of money. Do you think things are changing a little bit with this administration? And again, I don't want to get into minutiae about this, but go ahead. Your your thoughts real quick. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know if I could necessarily answer that. Let me go on to a different sort of definition of socialism. I don't. None of the progressive shows I listen to talk about across-the-board socialism, first of all. They wouldn't want to socialize the profession I'm in, real estate or the selling of clothes yeah. or anything like that. But it certainly does seem to me – the other country's system where it's socialized health care tends to work a whole lot better for the citizenry as a whole. No, really you go go to Canada. It go. can work a lot better if you go to Mayo Clinic. You're probably going to get better care than anywhere in the world. But yeah, for, no. yeah honestly, go, United go. States, it's unaffordable. I appreciate your phone call. Um, I disagree with you profoundly. Uh, go and get a try to get a hip replacement in Canada. Okay, good luck with that because it'll happen a lot sooner in the United States. Listen, we are running late. I appreciate your phone calls. More of your calls on this, a little bit more on this, and we're going to move on to some uh, you know non political stuff. The number here, guys, six five one nine eight nine nine two two six. My name is Rob Carson. You are listening to News Radio eight three zero WCCO, the home of the Twins. News Radio eight three zero WCCO. All right. Uh, 245 here, and then I've got traffic and weather. Garber to second base. He is in standing. Traffic and weather, okay. And I'm going to do the... Am I uh, doing a sponsor for the traffic and weather? No, no sponsor. Okay. Am I pitching to somebody for traffic and weather? Traffic goes to Jerry Peterson. Jerry Peterson. Drama. Guaranteed. Then I will do the weather forecast and the current temperature. Okay, very good. Thank you. Homeowners across the Twin Cities, you have a friend. Current temperature is still, what, 75? Home at some time will require service on your plumbing, heating, cooling, or electrical systems. Hi, Dick Bramer for Dean's Professional Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, Electrical, and Drains, a locally owned company that's been serving homeowners with fair prices and professional service for over 20 years. For any service, just remember, call Dean's.com. It's I your simple and convenient way to get an experienced technician to your home fast. 
Is your home's air conditioner ready for this summer's heat and humidity? Go to calldeans.com today and get on the list for Dean's professional $49 air conditioner clean and check. It's a super price for a very important service to keep you comfortable all summer long. Calldeans.com. It's your connection to fast, fair, and professional service for your home. Dean's professional plumbing, heating, air conditioning, electrical, and drains. Calldeans.com. That's calldeans.com. Are you stressed with too much to do and too little time to do it? Okay, we don't need to spend much more time on politics. I want to move on to some other stuff. Go to Tackle.com today. Get your house cleaned. Handyman work done. Junk hauled away. Yard mowed. Furniture rearranged. And hundreds of other chores checked off your to-do list. Dave Lee here telling you about Tackle. T-A-K-L. It connects you to background check providers who can show up ready to work to in traffic. an hour or two. There are over 400 Jerry Peterson, right? chores to choose from. Yep. If you are ready okay, very for good. Thank you. Downtime. Then get Tackle. Download the Tackle app for free at your favorite app store. That's T-A-K-L Sorry about missing the, uh, the keyword there. At tackle.com. Get help in hours, not days. And every job is backed by the Tackle 100% satisfaction guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Go to tackle.com now. That's T A K L. All right, coming to traffic here in and four get seconds. Get your to-do list. Turn done. your mic on. WCCO traffic and weather together. Rob Carson filling in today for Chad Hartman. Let's go to Jerry Peterson and the traffic center. What's up? Well, we got uh, some slowdowns as you travel northwest corner of the metro. No big surprise for Friday afternoon. Update is brought to you by your locally owned Domino's. I did for westbound slowing and make way between Hemlock Lane all the way up to 101st Ave. Opens up only to slow again as you make way through St. Michael and then again through Monticello. 10 westbound, single lane construction. As you make way out of town, you expect some delays there. Also finding some slowing. 10 westbound as you make way through Anoka. Introducing Domino's Hotspots. Get pizza delivered to outdoor locations like parks, beaches, and more. Not at home, not a problem. Visit Domino's.com. For Coming details. to weather here. Domino's Hotspots. Your traffic and weather together exclusively on WCCO. Next update, 208. What a glorious day. 78 degrees. This is this is why Minnesota in the summer is the best place to, to live. I mean, honestly, better than San Diego. 78 degrees. Dear Lord in heaven. 79 tomorrow with a, an isolated shower. Scattered afternoon storm, 79 degrees. Monday, 81. Oh, my Lord, it's a heat wave. 75 degrees right now in the Twin Cities. This is Dr. David Hilden from Hennepin All right, Health I've got a minute 45, and then Every Sunday you'll be on again, on News and Radio you can take it into about WCCO. 48 to Listen 50, to and you need to hit the Linda's Construction Time Check and read what is ever under the 148. All right, let me get it. Thank you for keeping me on track, because, I, again, I have, the, I have the attention span of a fruit line. Highly rated price competitive companies. Well, that's exactly what happens when you call SelectQuote Life. For example, George is 40. He was getting sky-high quotes from other companies because he takes meds to control his blood pressure. But when I Linda's construction around, time check at 148. Okay. $500,000 policy. And then I'm going at it. $25 a month. At 48. Okay. Quote agent right. Dan Savino. And believe me, if SelectQuote isn't shopping for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 800-461-4545. That's 800-461-4545. 800-461-4545 or go to selectquote.com. Since 1985, we shop, you save. Get full details on the example policy at selectquote.com slash commercials or price could vary depending on your health issuing company and other factors. Not available in all states. Bruce Helmer here. Most advisors can't handle your entire financial life. It's practically impossible to entrust it all to just one person. Wealth Enhancement Group is different. We use a team-based approach to help you make more confident decisions. You'll learn about this and much more in our free guidebook, Seven Things Your Financial Advisor May Not Be Telling You. To get your free copy, call 888-208-4272. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA and SIPC. Advisory services through Wealth Enhancement Advisory Services, a registered investment advisor. You're listening to Chad Hartman on News Radio 830 WCCO and WCCORadio.com. All right, coming back, turning you on. Actually, Chad is off today. Rob Carson is filling in. It's an honor and a privilege to be here. I am a uh, radio host. I am a uh, nationally syndicated comedy writer. If you've ever listened to uh, the biggest name in talk radio, we all know who he is. I've been writing comedy for him for a very long time. Stopped a few years ago when uh, when my friend Kit Carson passed away. But I write comedy. 
I was on the air in the Twin Cities in the 1990s at KS95. I did the morning show when I was in my 20s. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. It's so good to be back on the air in the Twin Cities. One of the most glorious, just the most glorious places in the world. Great food town. I'm a foodie too, by the way. I got about 100 cooking videos on the web. I like to cook. I like to say that, uh, you know, that, that we can disagree on politics, but we won't disagree on ribs unless you're a vegan. And if that's the case, you have an eating disorder. <clears throat> I'm sure I just made a lot of vegans mad. Unless it's like like ordered by a doctor and you're a vegan. I, you know, no, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> you can uh, follow me, by the way, on, uh, on Facebook at Rob Carson Show. Facebook at Rob Carson Show. I think you'll like it. I do a live video uh, yeah, podcast every day. And it looks like it looks it's pretty fancy. You can see it later. I'm posting actually this show. We're having some trouble broadcasting live on Facebook. But this show right now that I'm doing on WCCO, the video will be on my Facebook page shortly. Rob Carson Show. Facebook at Rob Carson Show. I think you'll dig it. I got a cool studio. Yeah, maybe you'll like it. So is uh, socialism where the Democrat Party needs to go? You've got this new, uh, and, and I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you. All right? Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is a child. There I said it. You know, I've been on the planet long enough. I guess I'm an old, uh, oh, no, old fart. I'm 50 years old. But by God in heaven, if you're going to assume the if you're going to th- assume the threshold of leadership in a, in a in a party, you should know what the hell you're talking about. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, she uh, beat a sleepy Democrat in a primary in New York, and suddenly she's the belle of the ball. She knows no, she knows nothing about what she's talking about. And I've been here long enough that I can chastise her and I can say, really, girlfriend, why don't you do your homework before you mouth off and be, before the, the chairman of the Democrat Party, who's an idiot, Tom Perez, decides that you are suddenly the face of the party. Here is this glorious savior of the Democrat Party who has no idea what she's talking about because she's a child intellectually. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I'm sounding like an angry white guy. I'm really not angry. I'm actually happy some of the time. Here she is with Trevor Noah on the Daily Show last night, talking about her neo-Marxist platform. And how do you pay for all these stuff? numbers don't really add up. You know, in order to get health care for everybody, this is what it would cost. Mm-hmm. That's going to be troubling. Even if you reverse the Republican tax deal, that's only going to make up 5% of what mm-hmm. we need to pay for Medicare for all. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, how do you pay for education for all? How do you pay yeah. for all of these these ideas? So uh, this, is an, this is an excellent, excellent question. Excellent. And in fact, there's a lot of back of the envelope stuff based on our values. So for example, I sat down um, with a Nobel Prize economist. Yes. I can't believe I can say that. It's really You're so weird. smart. Oh, my God. Um, but one of the things that we saw is yes. if people pay their fair share. Yeah, and it's never fair enough, by the way. It's just never. You, you never pay your fair share. If it's 35% of your corporate income tax, it's not fair. If corporations and the ultra-wealthy, the ultra, for example, ultra-wealthy, as Warren Buffett likes to say, if he paid as much as his secretary paid, 15%. Yes, of course. He paid a 15%. She's so smart. She's 28 years old. Percent tax rate. If uh, corporations paid, uh, if we... If we reversed the, the tax bill, but when <laughs> raised our, our corporate tax rate to twenty eight percent, which is not even as high as it was before. Yeah, well, it was thirty five before. Why? Why wasn't that fixed? So you're saying that now, if you just bring it back up to uh, thirty, whatever, suddenly things will be fixed. It was if if your if your theory is correct at thirty five percent, everything should have been fine. But now you want to bring it back up, right? Um, if we oh my if we God. do those two things and also close some of those loopholes, that's two trillion dollars right there. Shut up! That's two trillion dollars in ten years. This is the uh, the uh, what the uh, figures that you pull out from uh, dark recesses on your body? And it's why one of the wide estimates is that it's sure. going to take three to four trillion dollars to transition us to a hundred percent renewable energy economy. Yeah. So we got two trillion dollars. You went to prom twelve years ago. From folks paying their fair share, which they were not, not even eight, eight years ago, actually. Before the Trump tax bill. Right. They weren't, no, like, they weren't. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I just can't. This is what people, academics, think. They think socialism works. It doesn't. I do believe that I have a friend on the phone, Bill in St. Paul, who would like to talk to me. 
Bill, is this the Billy Shear that I know so well, my friend? What's going on? It is. It is the same guy. <laughs> How are you, my brother? I'm good. I'm good. You know, I turn on the radio, and here's Rob Carson on. Can I, can I just play something that you would... Can, Billy, Billy, let me play something to, for the listeners who don't remember what you and I did together. Listen to this, people. Listen to this. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. So we did the uh, Ya You Betcha chorus there, Billy. <laughs> yeah. it, it was legendary. How are you, my brother? I'm good. I'm good. I Like I said, I heard you on the radio and, and thought, I hope he's going to talk about ribs today too but after uh, instead of just politics you know we need to they need to know that you're a really good cook oh dude here's the deal i'm back on on tuesday and we are going to talk ribs because i am a hell of a cook and i'm a barbecue cook yeah. what are you up to these yeah. days real quick billy shearer by the way you don't know this man legend of the music industry in in the uh, the twin cities area worked with me did some great parodies my and by the way one of the most out of sight people i know because you're blind that's true <laughs> We got to catch up. We got to catch up, my friend. And uh, yeah. it, it was it was great to hear from you. Uh, you and, betcha. and it's kind of scary that you're hearing my voice on the airwaves again, right? It is. It's great, though. It's great. It's great. <laughs> All right. You're good, man, Billy. Take care of yourself. We'll catch up on the phone, okay? You bet. Do we have time to take Helen and Maple Grove real quick? We do. Let's take Helen. Hello, Helen, and welcome to uh, News Radio 830 WCCO. Hey, how are you? I'm glorious. What's going on? So, a couple of things. Yes. Um, first of all, I I don't believe that she is the right person to be the face. Yeah. I think that, man, we are just playing from one end to the other too much. I think we have to find the center. Sure. And I think we have to stick there. Um, the one thing I will say, though, is that I don't think it's because of her age, per se. I mean, you know, we have a gentleman who just bought $18 billion. <laughs> When he created Facebook <laughs> That's as true. a baby. So um, there's yeah. a lot to be said yes. about, about youth. And I am your age and a little bit older. Okay. There's a lot to be said about youth and what they bring to the table. I know, but but so but I'll tell you, there, can I tell you something? I did, could, hold on one second. I didn't really become a talk show host. Until I was in my mid forties, because I I wanted to be a seasoned person who's lived a lot of life. I don't think that this uh, this Ocasio Cortez, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, has lived enough and done enough studying on history to be a spokesperson for the Democrat Party. And if she is, the Democrat Party is terribly desperate. Go ahead. Um, I would completely agree with that. As far as like getting some experience in and work, you know, I I can't. We have to stop playing back and forth for who wins an election. Oh, my gosh, they're the next person. They're the next person who's going to take us there. The other thing that uh, Democrats need to do is we have to stop believing that we can provide health care for everyone. That That's just not going to happen. We have to find a centrist view, and I just I just wanted to say that. Now, where, let me ask you real quick here. Where are you politically on the spectrum? You know, I would say that I'm more independent. I have voted Republican and I have voted Democrat sure. in the past elections since I since I voted the first time a long, long, long time ago. Sure. <laughs> well, you know, I, I have voted Democrat in a couple of local elections, but I really I cannot in my right mind vote Democrat nationally right now because they're so bat crap crazy. Sorry. They're out of touch with people. Polls are showing this is the case, and it's just I, I can't go there. I can't go there. Um, well, my question to you is: yeah, What yeah. people are they out of touch with? Right, because that—that's the problem that we have in our nation right now. Yeah. Um, someone is out of touch with someone, yeah. right? And so, how are we going to find that moderate perspective where we realize that there are multiple perspectives and 
and we can't go to the extreme on either side. Well, Helen, you are completely wrong, and I am completely right. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> Helen, hey, thanks for calling today. I, I got to run. I'm sorry, but I do appreciate talking to you. Uh, Linda's construction time check is 152 on WCCO. And we have to take a break. You need to read the line that comes along with the Linda's construction. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have to do it on the back end. I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. BMW of Minnetonka has 35... Time to uh, stop the water in your basement, right? Or time to install the last roof you'll ever need, right? Whatever one is listed for 148. Sorry about that. I got a bunch of windows open, and I apologize. Inspection and car wash. Call BMW of Minnetonka for details. An official message from Medicare. How much time do I have? Hey. Did you hear the big Medicare news? We're all getting new cards with uh, Medicare numbers to protect 20. our identity. Okay. They come in the After that, I'm going to take a restroom break. Uh, then I, so, so I'm going to be in at 55-ish, and then I'm going to what? Medicare.gov slash new card to see when they're mailing so to your area. So you're going to, you have 220 here. Medicare. Yeah. Then you're Medicare. going to take it to 5735. That's a hard out I have to hit. Okay. Then you have until 10, till 210. So you okay. Do whatever you want. Then. You know what would be kind of cool? Listen, you, you one of those music beds I sent you? Why don't you start that at 30 seconds before my break is going to end here at the top of the hour? Might sound kind of cool. Selling your home quickly. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Let's do that. I think it sounds good. Did you like the music? I like new music. I haven't listened to it yet because I'm trying to get it downloaded. Into you've, got, you've got so much crap to worry about. I apologize. <laughs> or he will buy it. Gary and Susan up in White Bear Lake were thinking of downsizing. I'm getting some nice emails from Andy, by the way. We've been telling over the years about John Schuster and his team. That's good positive. thing they called. They got to see it in action. In just one day on the market, John's Marketing sold their home for 5000 over list price and closed in less than a month. John's team sold our last home. My wife and I are believers. We wouldn't dream of going anywhere else to list our next home. Results without the anxiety. Trust me, it's one of the best things you'll do this year. Contact John for full details today at 612-900-3333 or click online at johnschustergroup.com. Let's say hi to Wes. He's out at the Welcome Amish Furniture pretty much every single day and Boy, the beauty of what you do out there, Wes, is amazing. And we're seeing people stop by a lot to see this Amish built furniture. We love it, Dave. All right, I've got a minute to your back, and it's going to be the Foo Fighters song. It'll be your cue at 57.05. God bless the Foo Fighters. Amish built dining sets will always keep in stock and backed up, ready for immediate pickup or delivery. And can't you already buy a dining set right off the showroom floor? Sure you can, Dave, but most sets are not backed up, and they come and go from time to time. These five sets will always be here, and they'll be ready to take home today. What if you want, Wes, a different color of wood or size? That's so what do you think of the guy you bet your chorus? Like these sets is shown, you can have them today, not in three months. That's a classic. Can you see these sets online? <clears throat> Look for the Always in Stock page on our website. And what about delivery? 57. Just call or email, and we'll set up delivery nationwide. Pretty easy to do and beautiful furniture. Thank you very much, Dave. Welcome Amish Furniture on the west side of the Alberville Mall. Or go to that website, welcomeamishfurniture.com. Hi, this is John Hines. Coming up on my show Monday morning, a conversation with Dan Hayes. He covers the Twins for The Athletic. He'll bring us a Twins recap. All right, we're coming back here. And out at 5750? 5735. Rob Carson filling in today on WCCO, and I've just been rickrolled. Thank you, Lindsay. You just rickrolled me. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to get to. It was an unintentional to. one. That's okay. It was an unintentional Rickroll, but I did get Rickrolled, uh, and I and I love it, by the way. Thank you very much. I'm honored, actually, not only to be on the air, but also be Rickrolled by you, Lindsay. I appreciate it. Now, we've got a lot of stuff to get to in the, uh, in the next hour of the show. We've covered a good deal of politics, the direction of the Democrat Party, la, 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 all that stuff. Coming up, a very bad day for Facebook. Very bad week for Twitter. I'm going to get into that very shortly and why maybe it happened. Do you have a Facebook account, Lindsay? Yeah, yeah of course you do. I've seen it, actually. Yes, I, I am on Facebook. Why do you maintain the Facebook page? Why do you like that? Because there are people who I connect with on Facebook who aren't on other media outlets, yeah. so Twitter and Instagram. Well, the reason why I maintain Facebook, I have several accounts, and but my personal Facebook page has really become the the yearbook and the album of my family's life. It really has, Lindsay. When you think about it, a lot of people have forsook, uh, forsaken, I should say, uh, you, you know, printing off pictures, putting in then an album. Facebook is the story of our lives. That's why I maintain a personal Facebook page. I know that sounds kind of strange, but but it really is. So I'm going to get into Facebook, and I'm going to, I'm going to touch on Facebook with regard to uh, conservative publishers. Also on the way, um, got some really fun stuff about uh, banning plastic straws. Are you into that? 
Um, is it a good thing, a bad thing? I haven't gotten to the Wheaties supply uh, issue. Uh, yeah, we have a Wheaties shortage. God, I should have gotten to Wheaties like I did in Bitcoin. Uh, I can make a lot of money. My name is Rob Carson. You are listening to News Radio 830 WCCO. Back after the top of the hour. Listen to WCCO on FM. All right, you've got till about 210. Love talking to you. I'm going to go to the restroom. Minneapolis, St. Paul, and on your smartphone by downloading the radio.com app. Jordana Green here. The cat's out of the bag. The Minnesota Independent Insurance Association and its 760 members have voted the Canopy Group the 2018 Agency of the Year. But the real credit goes to you, the listeners who have embraced the message of having 20 professionals and 16 different insurance companies. You took action and replaced your one agent with one company to get more options for home and auto insurance. But it gets better. Listeners who took action have saved over over three and a half million dollars in premiums. So what are you waiting for? Great people, great process, great partnering companies. The Canopy Group is honored to be named the 2018 Independent Insurance Agency of the Year. Now it's time for you to take action and start saving money. They can help you and they'll prove it. Visit thecanopygroup.com or call them now. 800-967-3389. 800-967-3389. 3389. Congratulations to our friends at the Canopy Group. Walgreens has good news for anyone managing diabetes. We've got your back. That's right. Walgreens pharmacists are here to consult with you in person and answer any questions you may have about new and existing medications. You can even get free advice from our trusted experts day and night at Walgreens.com or the mobile app. Walgreens has all major brands of diabetes testing supplies like AccuCheck and Walgreens Dreametrics. That's not just good news, it's great news. Stop by and talk to your Walgreens pharmacist today. Walgreens, trusted since 1901. By the time that we got up there, his room was filled with smoke. The wind had blown and drifted the snow up against the side of my house, blocking the exhaust from my furnace. I heard the smoke alarm going off in my friend's apartment. Without the kid a smoke alarm, my son would not be here today. Had it not been for that carbon monoxide detector, they would come to school and not have their teacher there. I grabbed my fire extinguisher and put out the fire. Mm-hmm. Kid makes technology right. that saves lives. Get these essential products at Menards. Your flagship home of Minnesota Twins Baseball. News Radio 830, WCCO, and WCCO HD, Minneapolis, St. Paul. A radio.com station. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by TheraWorks Relief. I'm Jim Taylor, another firefighter. So the next uh, keyword to text is lead. From the city of Reading Fire Department. Uh, this firefighter uh, was obviously uh, fully engaged in fire operations here. Jonathan Cox with Cal Fire, second death in the fire that's raging toward Redding, Northern California. Thousands evacuated. KPIX reporter Joe Vasquez is there. This fire's been going for more than a day outside the city limits. Yes, Folks, it's lead. I'm going to grab water. I'll be right back. No problem. Last night is that the flames jumped the Sacramento River and then engulfed the area and went inside the city limits of Redding. And this is a city with a population of 92,000. And we're standing in a subdivision where we're watching these homes burn. The economy growing at a rate of 4.1%. We've accomplished an economic turnaround of historic proportions. Here's CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. There were some analysts who were thinking that we could see even more growth. But at 4.1%, I think that pretty much everyone would say this is a very strong quarter. It is the best quarterly growth since the year 2014. That was an Obama year when the economy grew at a rate of 5.2%. Reaction to the claim by President Trump's one-time fixer, Michael Cohen, that he has a record of Mr. Trump's knowledge of a Trump Tower meeting with Russians. Here's CBS's Stephen Portnoy. Reiterating his denial, which he first issued when the Trump Tower meeting became public knowledge last year, the president tweets it sounds to him like his longtime lawyer is, quote, trying to make up stories in order to get himself out of an unrelated... <clears throat> to you guys who are watching on uh, Liberty One, I am on WCCO Duke, radio in, was- in, uh, in uh, Minneapolis. Taxi cabs. So there's some, you know, space here where we're doing minutia and all sorts of stuff are being played. It's a growing castle. Uh, glad to have you here. Returning remains, it says, are please share with others, and you know, we got some good stuff going on. Remains arriving in South Korea. CBS's David Martin is at the Pentagon. The remains will now undergo preliminary testing in South Korea. Next week, they will be flown to Hawaii, where they will be back on American soil after 65 years, and where forensic scientists will attempt to identify the remains 
and return them to their families. In a statement, CBS says it will investigate allegations of sexual misconduct against Chairman and Chief Executive Leslie Moonves. This ahead of an article to be published by the New Yorker magazine. Statement says it's unclear what impact the New Yorker report will have at a, a time when Moonves is locked in litigation with Sherry Redstone, the controlling shareholder in both CBS and Viacom. CBS shares down 6.6 percent, falling suddenly as word of that New Yorker story spread. The Dow right now down 110 points. This is CBS News. To experience relief from foot and leg cramps, use TheraWorks Relief. Get TheraWorks Relief today in the pain relief aisle at your local pharmacy. Ask your pharmacist for TheraWorks Relief. Partly cloudy, 78 degrees in the Twin Cities at 2.03. Good afternoon, Adam Carter in the WCCO Newsroom. And the news sponsored by Floyd Total Security. The hour's top story. The Department of Corrections is still coming to terms with the line of death duty of one of their own, the Stillwater Prison, where Joseph Gom was killed last week, remains on lockdown as officials make plans to get back to normal there. For an hour today, Corrections Commissioner Tom Roy spoke to reporters about the aftermath of the first death of its kind in the state. He's discussing staffing and cameras, but also says they got to keep moving forward. They can't quit working. We can't quit working. We have a mission to serve the state, and uh, we're going to do it. Roy says the DOC does stand by its vocational and educational programs that involve tools because it helps them meet their mission of reducing recidivism. The inmate who allegedly killed Gom, Edward Joseph, allegedly used a hammer to kill him. Edward Johnson, excuse me. Minneapolis police may soon have solid guidelines when emergency personnel assist them in making arrests. Last month, the Star Tribune revealed a draft report on the use of ketamine by MPD officers on agitated suspects who have been arrested. That full report is now out, and it includes recommendations by a police oversight panel. MPD officers shall never suggest or demand EMS personnel sedate a subject. Minneapolis Police Lieutenant Thomas Wheeler. The report says the Office of Police Conduct Review noticed something strange when they saw EMS personnel on body cameras injecting some type of drug into numerous people in police custody. One of those individuals filed a complaint late last year. Al Shock, WCCO. You can read that full report. We have it at WCCORadio.com. We'll put on your patience hat if you need to get across the Twin One, two, three. this out. <clears throat> In the coming days, in fact, for the next two weekends, 35W will be closed in both directions for resurfacing and repair work. WCCO's Jerry Peterson. Now, there will also be segments uh, that will be open to local traffic, such as 35W south of 46th Street down to the Crosstown. So some of that will be open. And then 35W essentially between County Road C and 694 will be open to local traffic as well. That stretch of closure starts at 9 o'clock tonight. We'll Start at Crosstown 62 all the way to 694. Both ways, the road expected to be reopened by a rush, ta- a rush hour Monday morning. Do I have a... Um, City's barbecue joint has now gone for good. Uh, text word for... Barbecue announcing this week. Thousand dollars this... Their last rack uh, of ribs. Yep, at 212. Okay, thank you. Let me grab that real quick. 43 years ago. La, 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 la. What are you doing this weekend? Anything fun? An artist who stainless steel crocodiles. No, we just bought a new house. (laughs) Lovely. By the way, in reference to my friend Billy, uh, I have about a hundred cooking videos on the web. If you want to check them out. Cloud sidewalk. He forwarded that. Oh, great! What do you cook? Oh, everything. Everything from I I have a guacamole called guacavages. To barbecue, to pasta, to uh, everything. Do you have someone tape you, or do you just do it yourself? No, I had a professional video crew, two cameras. Uh, It looks like the Food Network. Looks to be in pretty good shape. It's been moved to an art center. I'll send. I'll send you the link. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I just like to cook. Seventy-eight degrees, two oh six. More for these and other stories. Go to wccoradio.com. Floyd is a leader in outdoor monitored video systems. Mike Karch, owner of right. Floyd the, it's Security, lead. where a monitoring lead. station can dispatch the police while the crime is in progress. For a free survey, call 952-881-5625 and let Floyd stand watch for you. 206, time to check traffic and weather together. Now let's head over to the traffic center here again. Jerry Peterson. Well, thanks a lot. This update is brought to you by Concordia University. 94 Westbound got your slowdowns in place for the Friday afternoon. Hemlock Lane to Brockton Lane. I-35 Northbound slowly as make way past to split up into Forest Lake. Looks like we may have an accident working near 97 as uh, you make way through that area. 52 Northbound jammed up across Lafayette Bridge Deck. 94 Westbound at Riverside. Getting word of an accident there. It's already slow between there and the tunnel. Get on track to a successful 
successful business career with Concordia University St. Paul. Learn online or on campus. Learn more about their present or about their business degrees at online.csp.edu. Your traffic and weather together exclusively on WCCO. Next update, 2.30. <laughs> Weather sponsored by the Shane Company. Partly cloudy, 78 degrees right now in the Twin Cities. Maybe 80 this afternoon. Clear skies tonight down to 59. Sunshine, 80. Saturday, Sunday, 30% chance of rain and thunder in the afternoon. Otherwise, sunshine and 80. Partly cloudy, 78. WCCORadio.com. I'm Tom Shane. We see a lot All right, 2.15 until we're back. Same thing as last hour. Do a couple of minutes and then at 2.12... Her birthday. Do the keyword. Do the keyword. Okay. okay. It's lead, not lead. If you're not sure what to get her. Remember, there are many <laughs> essential pieces that every woman needs. Do you, no, what do you, what food do you like, by the way, Lindsay? That she can wear with I like everything. I'm actually working on a cooking series right now that we're taping in August. So I love it. Yeah. Well, if I end up getting hired, which who knows, I'd love to cook with you. And ours begin around yeah, it would be super fun. I um, My gift I have no training. Neither do I. I have them in it's all self-taught. Range. At Shane Company, I think it'd be fun. I, I I love food. We can disagree on politics, but we won't disagree on ribs unless you're a, a vegan. If that's the case, you have an eating disorder. Not a vegan. Thank you. Actually, just got a grill, so I'm oh. She's uh, all right. You need if you like steak, you have to listen to me with regard to cooking steak. Company. Okay. I will teach you how to, Thursday to cook Saturday a steak properly and it's not searing it take an extra right off the bat. Off. No, that's take wrong. An extra 20% off. The new Ultimate Jegging for Junior. Oh, you got to make it with like a reduction sauce, like a... Vans for the family start at $35.99. Vernays, where you can do a, a twin, red wine twin reduction. And wedding oh. sets are just $47.99. Oh. Plus, get Kohl's cash. Kickstart your back-to-school savings at Kohl's. Select styles. Offer valid July 26th through 28th with promo code FRIEND20. Some exclusions apply. See store or kohls.com for details. If you wear a denture, are you sure your breath is clean and fresh? Try Polydent. It's specifically designed to clean a denture because it's tough on odor-causing bacteria, but gentle on the denture itself. Polydent has a four-in-one cleaning system with four powerful ingredients that work together to deep clean your denture. It kills 99.99% of odor-causing bacteria in laboratory testing. And helps to remove stains. All right, we're coming back here in 10 seconds. I'm going to have your mic hot. And then I will be ready with the uh, uh, keyword at 12. At 12, yeah, yeah. Best weather when you want it. Get it at WCCORadio.com. Rob Carson filling in for Chad Hartman today on WCCO. It is an honor and a privilege to be here. I'm a uh, a talk show host, a nationally syndicated comedy writer. Uh, video and audio podcaster. If you go to YouTube, just write this down real quick. Okay, I know you got a lot of stuff on your plate, but I think you're going to really enjoy it. I do a uh, a video podcast and an audio podcast. Just go to YouTube, look up Rob Carson. It's a, it's a kind of a cool thing. It looks like a TV show, like you'd you know pay on cable. I play video clips and the whole deal. We talk about politics and pop culture and all that stuff. Just YouTube and look up Rob Carson. You're going to dig it. You're going to dig it. You can also see my new swag line. I've got a line of politically incorrect um, garb. One of them is the new campaign shirt, uh, Hillary in 20 Never. <laughs> I think you'll like that. <laughs> but if you look there, and then also I've got a couple of others. Like uh, there's, a, there's a T-shirt that says veganism is an eating disorder. Uh, war, sometimes war is the answer. Uh, you can't coexist with people who want to kill you. Uh, yeah, it's politically incorrect, but it's a lot of fun. Just go to uh, YouTube, look up Rob Carson. Okay. Oh, oh and by the way, I have... Uh, a lot of cooking videos on the web. I like to cook. And we can disagree on politics. We won't disagree on ribs unless you are a vegan. And if that's the case, you have an eating disorder. Unless it's doctor ordered. That's what I always say. Unless the doctor says you've got to not eat meat or you'll die. Uh, you know, you should, you should, you should, you know, shake things up a little bit. Try a little things. All right. Let's see. I'm just shy of the, uh, the key word. To win a thousand bucks. National contest, by the way. Keyword for cash. That's coming up in about 30 seconds. In just a moment, the, the, uh, what I think is the soundbite of the week. Nancy Pelosi. Stumbling her way through a uh, press conference. And then also, the funniest thing she said in a very long time, which is the Democrats are, uh, are strong on uh, immigration. So we'll get into that. Also, uh, what's going on with what's going on with Facebook and their collapse? They lost more money than any company in the history of the stock market. We'll share that very shortly. And the Wheaties shortage. 
among other things. Your thoughts on all of this, 651-989-9226, 651-989-9226. If you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear from you. All right? So let's do the uh, the keyword for cash. It's lead, L-E-A-D. One more time, it's L-E-A-D. Text that uh, keyword to 72881 for your chance to win 1000 bucks. Again, the number 72881. The keyword is lead, L-E-A-D. And if you don't win this time, listen for your next chance to win. Coming at 312 this afternoon, messaging and data rates may apply. And remember, please don't text and drive. Okay? All right. Nancy Pelosi. I'm in a uh, presser yesterday. I'm going to get to her stumbling her way through the... Now, let's do that now. Here's Nancy Pelosi. She, she gets these brain freezes going, right? She gets... I mean, they are... Woo, they are bad. Here is her... Uh, this is just one press conference. I don't know what's going on if she's drunk. I, 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 you may, we have senior moments. I'm not as senior as she is. I think I'm younger than her by like about 30 years. But anyway, here's her uh, little uh, senior moment montage from yesterday's presser. If I can get it to play. Hold on one second. Here it is. Uh, for the special interest, mortgaging the future, our future with their yeah. tax scam sure. addition, instead of enabling the Secretary of HHS to negotiate for lower progress prescription drug Pro- pr- pr- okay. prices. Pr- today, mm. Monday, not today, m- Monday pr- marks the 53rd year. Of yeah, some brain flatulence there. 53rd anniversary. Since they've had it in the Ryan budget again and again. But... Pr- don't don't just rest on that. Send jobs overseas. You want to send jobs? Okay. Then on the on that money. Sure. Over two trillion dollars in cuts. Trillion trillion dollars. President Trump's disgraceful 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 okay. dangerous uh, elections yeah. by following a rot resolution. Rot. Three election technology. Did you know this? Three election technology vendors. Or protecting our democracy from Russia on ho- uh, lowering prescription drug costs and rebuilding America. Over the weeks, House Dem- uh, This is one press conference. Coming weeks, House Democrats will continue... To not be able to speak. ...that drumbeat across America. Yeah. In uh, apprehensions, their hopes and dreams and fears. Uh, so when the president pre- pre- mm. presents himself in such a dangerous, yeah. destructive and... Oh, disgraceful way yeah. on the perp- on the, when it comes to Ugh. raising wages, that lowering. He said wouldn't instead of would or would or instead of wouldn't, whatever that, whatever that was. How do you explain that? You have, we have to defend the Constitution. It's the oath we take. We didn't even know about this yesterday, but it isn't why talking point. People care about. Okay, Nancy, that's, you know what? Here's the deal. Uh, Walmart's hiring. They're looking for greeters. Mm-hmm. Here's the funniest thing she said yesterday, actually, which is about uh, the Democrats and immigration, which I'm sure will tick people off that I say it's immigration. Uh, but they, you know, I don't care. Uh, here is, uh, hold on one second, let me find it. Nancy Pelosi, hold on, let me find it. On, uh, hold on, I've got it. She talked about immigration yesterday, and it was it was what I thought was the funniest bit uh, of the day, the the funniest thing that she could possibly say. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's find it. Uh, Nancy Pelosi. Well, this is her on 9-11. This is her discounting 9-11 yesterday, which I thought was funny. She called it an incident. Uh, we have a responsibility to protect our borders. Let's make no mistake about that. And Democrats have been strong on that point. All of our borders. In fact, I said to some of you before that when we had the 9-11 incident and the commission. There she goes. She goes, the 9-11 incident. Just kind of like, I don't know, like it wasn't 3,000 people dying. <laughs> Just unbelievable. Here she is talking. This is the line of the week, and I apologize for, uh, I, I had to find it here. This is the line of the week from Nancy Pelosi about Democrats and the borders. Here it is. Uh, we have a responsibility to protect our borders. Let's make no mistake about that. And Democrats have been strong on that point. All of our borders. Okay, this is the party that wants to get rid of ICE. This is the party that that uh, that came up with DACA and wanted to do a parental version of that, but 26 governors said, nah, now nah, we're not going to do that. There was DACA, which was a uh, it was an attempt to get as many children to the country as possible during the Obama administration. And then there was the, uh, the, the uh, parents, I think it was called PACA, we can bring the parents across and the family and chain migration and all that stuff. I won't get into the minutiae of it. 
the Democrats are not strong on the border. I mean, come on. I mean, really, that's that's wow. That is just brilliant. Oh, by the way, Michael Cohen, the uh, the uh, lawyer to the president. This is pretty funny. He's saying that Donald Trump met with uh, this this Russian whatever the hell she was. She's some sort of a liaison with information about Hillary Clinton's campaign. Turned out to be a joke. Turned out not to know anything at Trump Hotel. And and this uh, Michael Cohen is saying that this happened. Now, you know, when, honestly, this is a completely even if it was Donald Trump were there and there's no there's no uh, there's no proof that he was. But but is this worse than? Bill Clinton meeting on a tarmac with Loretta Lynch saying that he just got on a plane with her privately to talk about their grandchildren, even though he had never met her before and never met her or talked to her before. You're suddenly going to talk about your grandchildren. And then also uh, the dossier, Hillary Clinton playing for a, paying for a dossier that would be used to get a FISA warrant to uh, surveil a campaign. I mean, what's worse, right? What's worse? Ah, a little off there. Let's move on and get your thoughts on a variety of topics. The number here six five one nine eight nine nine two two six. Did you realize there's a weedy shortage? Now our hearts are with General Mills. Um, back in the in the nineteen nineties, they introduced frosted Cheerios when I was working at a radio station, and I got frozen in a block of ice to celebrate. Frosted Cheerios. I have a soft spot for General Mills. It's a great company. They make great products. But apparently, Lunds and Byerly's, they're posting notices to explain why, why several General Mills cereals are out of stock. What, what is this? I'm not a big cereal guy. Are you a cereal guy? Cereal girl, whatever. Cereal killer, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you want your Wheaties, you're going to have to wait. General Mills says it's uh, having trouble keeping stores stocked with the cereal. Why is that? Are they suddenly uh, remarkably popular? What sports franchise has really cut butt lately that they can put the person on the, um, you know, on the front of the uh, the box that they're, you know, what's going on? It's very hard to find Wheaties. I haven't had Wheaties forever. I love Wheaties, though. I, I really loved Wheaties when I was a kid. Apparently, uh, a spokesperson for Lunds and Byerly's, great grocery stores, by the way. Said General Mills has told the grocer that the uh, demand has exceeded capacity for not just Wheaties, but also other flake-based cereals. Fiber One, Honey Clusters, Total. My God, they still make Total. Basic Four and even Oatmeal Crisp. As a result, there are supply shortages on those products. This is, and I, I don't want to say anything. This is just something I've heard, but I hear there is a, uh, a Wheaties black market developing in parts of the uh, Twin Cities. Wheaties boxes going for as much as $50. Just people just to get their Wheaties in the morning. It's that high. So beware of that. <laughs> Coming up, I want to talk a little bit about this, uh, this new story. There's a, a final version of a review of the Minneapolis Police Department's role in injecting ketamine by paramedics on people who have been pretty much out of control. With regard to, uh, you know, going into custody, they've been called to a, uh, a place, this person is behaving bizarrely, whatever, the police officer has, has basically to the, to the paramedic, hey, give him a shot of ketamine, knock him out. This uh, supposedly is some sort of, I guess, I, I, human rights abuse, even though this person is human rights uh, abusing the police officer. Is this a bad thing? Is it okay for it? Well, I know the police officer can't say, hey, you know what, you need to give him a sedative. Ultimately, the person in the in the ambulance is going to say, um, "We need to sedate this person because they're nuts." And, and and what would you rather have? What would you rather have? Would you rather have a person who is? Oh, I mean, listen, I'm a big supporter of the police. I can't imagine doing what they do. I worked. I was talking to a police officer the other day. One of the things that I do on the side is I, I, on the weekends, I sell cars. I work for a Toyota dealership because I make damn good money. And I meet people and I like it. And I like it. I was talking to a police officer. I said, uh, you know, how was your shift today? Well, he, he's a SWAT officer. And he kind of laughed it off. Well, we had a situation last night. He wouldn't tell me about it. But you got to imagine, I mean, I know a lot of police, I know a lot of military members, they have PTSD. Police, dear God in heaven, that's much or more. Well, I won't say more. 
but as much as as uh, military members, they suffer the same effects of what they do for a living. And they're always getting pounded. They're always getting pounded by the media, by Black Lives Matter, blah, blah, blah. Final version of the review of the Minneapolis Police Department's role in the ejection of ketamine by paramedics on people was made public in the Minneapolis City Council meeting yesterday. It was uh, leaked to the Star Tribune. Apparently, there's some body camera videos of officers using force with people they detain or arrest because people can be real douches. Okay? People could be, I mean, the, the, and then they might try to grab a police officer's gun and they might be completely whacked out on drugs. And is sedating them a bad thing? Is occasionally saying, and by the way, in, according to the study, eight times saying, hey, give him a shot of ketamine because he's going to kill me or hurt himself. Is that a problem? Now, maybe I haven't digested this enough, but I'd like to know your thoughts at 651 989 9226. Do you remember the original Star Trek? Somebody was a little out of control. What would Dr. What would Mr. Dr. Spock, Mr. Spock do? He'd grab the shoulder beep, and knock him right out. A little different situation. Maybe I'm comparing apples and oranges. Imani Jafar, the director of the uh, Office of Police Conduct, said that in the analysis between the period of uh, winter 2017, spring 2018, started to observe instances where individuals in police custody were injected with what at a time to us was an unknown substance. Substance was a uh, the sedative ketamine. Devar's office found that ketamine was being injected into profoundly agitated, profoundly agitated, and I might mention when you're profoundly agitated in an arrest situation, you might be dangerous. People who needed to be taken to the hospital as part of a, of a study by uh, Hennepin Healthcare. Police conduct office found eight instances in which officers gave an opinion or asked EMS employees to inject ketamine into people. Okay, what would you rather have? What would you rather have? Would you rather have a beanbag to your body or a shot of ketamine to calm you down? Maybe I'm wrong. Is, it, is this wrong for the police to say, you know what? Just give the guy a tranquilizer so he doesn't try to grab my gun. Just give the guy a trank so we can get him to the hospital and he doesn't hurt somebody. Just give the guy a trank so he doesn't grab a needle from the hospital personnel and stick it in their leg. Am I wrong? City Civil Rights Director Velma Corbell said... If a medical study involving the injection of ketamine was being conducted in Minneapolis on Minneapolis residents, aided by Minneapolis employees, did leadership and policymakers know about such a study? If not, what should be done about it? So they're saying this was some sort of a study, I guess, by the police department with paramedics with the use of ketamine, sedating people who were bat crap crazy out of their mind and dangerous. The review concludes that the department should spell out when officers could take part in decisions to use ketamine. Minneapolis uh, Police Chief Madario Aranando has prohibited officers from making medical suggestions. Well, you know, no, I, I, they really actually shouldn't have to. It should be fairly obvious to the paramedics on the scene. I could be wrong. Michael Gross with the Citizens United Against Police Brutality found that pr- the, the presentation and council's reaction Thursday missed the point. Those people are entitled to know that this happened and we haven't seen any movement on the part of the city or county to let them know that they were victimized by this. Victimized. How about the people who are being victimized by crazy people on the gurney? Crazy people being arrested. Eh. I guess, okay. D- do we need a study for this? Did we need a study or, or did, did maybe the police department say, hey, here's the deal. Let's, let's investigate this. And if we have to use a, uh, a sedative on somebody as opposed to a sedative, which we saw in uh, Young Frankenstein, um, you know, then we got to use it. I, I don't think I'm wrong in saying that the police ought to be able to say, hey, Mr. Paramedic, this guy is nuts. This guy's nuts. Could, could you help me out here? Can we just get, bring them down a little bit so they don't hurt themselves or somebody else? I don't see the outrage. I don't see why there's outrage over this. But, uh, you know, you can, uh, you can comment. 651-989-9226. 651-989-9226. You a Facebook fan? 
I have a variety of uh, Facebook pages. One of them is Rob Carson Show. Facebook at Rob Carson Show. I do uh, uh, live video podcast there. I do uh, a variety of things there. And then I have another personal page that is basically, and it has been the photo album of my life. It has been the photo album of my life. And the only reason I maintain it is because, listen, if you're like me and you, you have a Facebook page for your family, you're uploading stuff. You're, and and this, is just, this, this isn't just to brag about myself and show pictures of my feet on the end of a lawn chair and all that crap. It's so grandma can see the kids. It's so, you know, cousin whatever can see, you know, what we're doing and just got to keep in touch with them. So Facebook for the last decade has become the photo album of my life. And I hate the fact that I've entrusted so much in it because so many of the pictures that I put up on Facebook, they're in the cloud right now. And I've got to depend on Mark Zuckerberg not to destroy it. Facebook took a hit yesterday. Did you hear about this? $100 billion route. They lost $100 billion yesterday. The biggest loss in stock market history. And when you think about the last decade, Facebook, Twitter, I've got an Instagram page. I know I'm too old for that. All of these social networking sites have taken up gigantic chunks of our lives, gigantic chunks of our lives to the point that some people even say that obsession with Facebook is a psychological problem. Have we kind of reached the end of Facebook? Has, has Facebook jumped the shark? Has Twitter done the same thing? Is Instagram on the way? We've, we've lived in a very strange time in the last decade. If you, if you left the planet in 1990 and you arrived back here in 2018 and you walked into an airport, you'd go, what the hell happened? People don't talk to each other anymore. People at dinner tables are uh, holding these little boxes in front of them and they don't talk. People are going to uh, you know, restaurants and they're ordering with iPads and they're not even talking to the service. It's a weird time. I'm going to talk a little bit about what happened to Facebook, why I think they lost so much money. Also, um, I think it's kind of something kind of fun. The best day ever. What constitutes the best day ever for you? A national poll on what makes a day fantastic. I hope that me filling in for Chad Hartman has not ruined your day. <laughs> anyway, your thoughts are welcome, guys. At 651-989-9226, 651-989-9226. My name is Rob Carson. You are listening to News Radio 830 WCCO. Summer's in full swing. As you're back. Were we close? I have, I have a weird little commercial break here because of some sponsors. So you actually don't have to do traffic and weather here. So you are good until about 34. All right, we'll be right back. Okay. There, you'll be the life of the party. And let's be honest, some of these get togethers need a little life. Bring it. Life's a picnic when you're on Minnesota's News Radio 830 WCCO. The Minneapolis Farmers Market is the oldest and largest fresh air market in the Twin Cities. There, you'll find the freshest and best local produce, meats, and farmstead goods, along with the most unique plants for your deck, balcony, or garden. Join them at the market every day, located at 312 East Lindale Avenue North, downtown. That's right, they're open every day from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Thursdays on Nicollet Mall. For more information, visit them online at NPLSFarmersMarket.com. Running a small business can be demanding. That's why small business owners need more from their internet service. The GigSpeed Network from Comcast Business gives you fast, reliable internet. Plus, for a limited time, you can add voice for just $24.95 more per month. Call 1-800-501-6000 today. Comcast Business. Built for business. Offer ends 2118. Restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Limited to one voice line and available only to new Comcast Business customers. Early termination fee applies. It requires Comcast Business Internet and additional monthly charge equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. Call for details. Now from the Small Business Pulse, Minnesota, sponsored by Comcast. Business built for business. In the last 20 years, there's been a premium placed on the financial services arena. Companies are hiring CIOs who are savvy with technology and can use it in conjunction with strategy to drive business. It's important for both small and large businesses to generate reports of empirical data that show the outcome of potential investments in new technology. For more information, go to smallbusinesspulse.com slash Minnesota. 
WCCO Radio, the Minneapolis Regional Chamber, and the Minneapolis Downtown Council present a Congressional District 5 Candidate Forum, live in the Cambria Gallery on 7th on Thursday, August 2nd. Moderated by WCCO's Chad Hartman and Blois Olson. Presented by Minnesota's Credit Union. Traffic and weather together on News Radio 830 WCCO. And this check of traffic brought to us by Bradshaw and Bryant. Here's JP. I'm not spotting any crashes on the system right now, but there are some slowdowns. Update brought to you by your locally owned Domino. Traveling 35W northbound, expected to be slow. Highway 88 all the way up toward Highway 10. 10 westbound slowing as make way into Anoka. You're also going to find things a bit slow. Traveling 10 westbound, making way through Elk River in the single lane work zone on the west side of town. 94 westbound, jamming up 101, heading up toward the Crow River. And if you're going to be traveling along uh, 100 northbound, expect some slowdowns there right now as move between County Road 81 and I-94. Your traffic and weather together here uh, exclusively on WCCO. Jordana Green here. I pray you and your family are always safe. But if there's ever a time where you need an advocate after an accident, let Mike Bryant of Bradshaw and Bryant help you. He will work with and for you in dealing with the insurance company. Call 800-770-7008 today. Bradshaw and Bryant, seeking justice for the injured. And your forecast sponsored by Lennox Premier Dealers. 78 beautiful day this afternoon. Tonight down to 59 clear skies. Good weekend. 80 and sunshine Saturday. 30% chance of rain and thunder on right Sunday back. with a high of 80. Right now, again, partly cloudy, 70. Oh. When severe weather strikes, the WCCO Lennox Premier Dealer Storm Center has all the updates to get you through any storm. In every season and in all types of weather, your Lennox heating and cooling specialist, Ditter Cooling, Heating, and Electrical has you covered. For current offers, visit LennoxPremierDealers.com. This is Bruce Helmer of Wealth Enhancement Group and LPL Financial. All right, a so minute, 20, and we're back. Me, Lovely. We'll do a break at about this Sunday and every 48 Sunday, we again with the Lindus Construction Time Check. Very good. It's your money, Sunday morning at 8.30 on News Radio. Today, more and more people are pre-arranging their cremation service than ever before, for many reasons. Hello, this is Meredith Waterston with the Cremation Society of Minnesota, Minnesota's largest provider of cremation services. Most this is such a happy commercial. Allowing them to make all the important decisions. If I owned a crea- creation a service, I would say uh, that the, the slogan would be make an ash of yourself. In addition to pre-arranging, payment oh. for services can be made in advance, which guarantees that cost Thank will you. never I'll be change here all in their lifetime. Many individuals <clears throat> are now receiving long-term medical care and need to receive medical assistance from the county. Every day, sorry, I'm on the phone. One second. No problem, no problem. All of the necessary funding to make them so we're coming back in uh, about 25 if seconds. If you or someone you know needs help in pre arranging, call the Cremation Society of Minnesota or look us up online at cremation society of mn.com. Cremation Society of Minnesota, the new tradition. Paul and Jordana today at three. Chad Hartman now. All right, I'm gonna make your mic hot. WCCO. Rob Carson filling in for Chad Hartman here on uh, News Radio 830 WCCO. Uh, honor and a privilege to be here. I'm a talk show host, audio and video podcaster, and uh, syndicated comedy writer. I have a, about 100 cooking videos on the web. Just go to YouTube, and uh, if you wouldn't mind, just just uh, Google or just uh, put in Rob Carson. You'll see some of my uh, my video podcasts. You'll like it. It's uh, politics, pop culture, uh, and comedy. That's what I do. All right. A few things I want to get to before the end of the show, and we've covered a lot. We've covered a lot today. Facebook had a bad day yesterday. Man, they lost $100 billion. This is unbelievable. Their, uh, their stock price plummeted 19%. This is a, uh, uh, you know, a company that we're all familiar with. Might have a Facebook account. I've got several of them that I, might, I maintain. Rob Carson Show is one of them. Other companies experienced same, uh, similar one-day losses, including Apple in 2013. They lost $60 billion. bucks. Exxon Mobil in 2018 lost $52 billion, but nothing like $119 billion with Facebook. A variety of reasons for this. Um, part of it was uh, Mark Zuckerberg's testimony before Congress where he looked like data from uh, Star Trek, the next generation. A data leaks, among other things. We say uh, the unhealthy psychological effects of Facebook, and it is, it's interesting. We live in a weird time, right? Facebook, it's not all that good for you. When you it's very narcissistic. Let's just put it that way. I try not to make my Facebook posts so narcissistic. I like to put up content and commentary and all that stuff. But it is, it's, it's, a, man, it's a weird time. Twitter 
uh, collapse too. Twelve percent slump. Twelve percent on an otherwise strong quarter. I hate doing Twitter. I just I don't like Twitter. I don't tweet. I don't retweet. I know Lindsay, producer here. She's a big Twitter tweeter. <laughs> I just I'm just not into it. I'm just I'm not in. I'm not I'm not that into it. I've met some of my best friends on Twitter. Have you really? Now, like, how do you do that in what? How many characters now? Well, it wasn't because of that, but you know. Years ago, when Twitter first started, yeah. Minneapolis had a really good round of like tweet ups, especially around baseball. Oh, okay. Because I think a lot of people who are into sports will follow teams and follow bloggers and and reporters for Twitter or on Twitter because of the immediacy of it. Sure. Especially with you know, like right now, baseball trade rumors. Twitter yeah. is the place to be. Yeah. And they used to do tweet ups, so they'd go to a bar and kind of send out the message. And one of my closest friends, Aaron, is someone who I found we had similar interests with on Twitter. Oh, Call well, my internet friend. You know what? Listen, I, I one of my best friends. You know where I, I met my best friend in a taxi. He was driving in, in Minneapolis. So you know, it's 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 crazy. See, people pick up people in strange positions. Okay, I'm not going to touch that. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> As soon as it came out, I thought about it. Yeah, you know, I know. It's Friday. <laughs> it is Friday. Thank you. What are you going this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? House stuff. House stuff. Lovely. Yeah. You got a new house, right? We got a new house. We're in the midst of lots of projects. Lovely. I feel like every time I pull a weed, 10 more grow back. Yes. Um, yeah, so it's exciting stuff. Are you watching? sewing curtains tonight, actually. Well, stop it. Are you serious? Sewing yes. curtains? So yes. now, let me ask you this. Are you Are you watching HGTV every night now? No, because there's no new content on it, and we've watched all of it. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, I think you it's know, great. Summer's a tough time for TV. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it I'll is. probably be watching the twins, in all honesty. They Come on. quite the week. Seriously, seriously. Um, that's awesome. Well, I'm going to do a little cooking. If you, if you guys, by the way, you want to check out my cooking videos, there's a website called monkeysee.com. I know it sounds goofy. Monkeysee.com. Just look up Rob Carson on that site. I've got a guacamole. If you like guacamole, it's called Guac of Ages. Uh, and it is, it is, if you make this this weekend, you will eat it like pudding. You won't even need chips. It's that good. It's that good. So, uh, so check that out. Now, Lindsay, you, you sent me a, an interesting article about the DNA testing company teaming up with, uh, GlaxoSmithKline about 23andMe. They're, they're established this giant DNA database now. And companies like GlaxoSmithKline now have this wealth of information from people who voluntarily say, use my DNA. For medical research, and we're cool with it, and they're actually going after different um, uh, diseases with this new DNA database, including Parkinson's. I thought this was kind of interesting, Lindsay. Have you done the DNA test before, by the way? I have not. I'm actually incredibly curious about it because I don't know too much about my dad's side of the family um, as far as what our heritage is. Yeah. So I've been thinking about it, but then, you know, the story was, what, was six months ago where... The person did it, and then their relative got arrested for crimes. I don't really? Know if I want to be throwing my DNA out there, who knows? Well, Maybe you know, I had the, some, the, some bad eggs down the family tree. Well, I did. Uh, you know, you got to wonder if people they go into the and I'm, I'm adopted, right? So I did, and I'm going to tell my story here in just one second about what happened because it was like you won't believe this, All right? But but you know, you go into the ancestor DNA and you find out that Hitler is like your great. You whatever cousin <laughs> like okay i didn't need to know that but but it is very interesting and, and i got a uh, an ancestry dna for christmas from my wife in uh december and it was very it was interesting for me because i had i was adopted and i don't know where i come from i know i was through my own personal research Lindsay. Uh, i was able to deduce that my family you know my parents were very good looking and very intelligent and had great senses of humor i mean that's fairly obvious right uh, but 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 I needed but I needed to know. I, I always heard I'm uh, Irish, English, and German. Turns out I'm English, Irish, and German. And then Lindsay on Christmas Day, I get an email from Ancestry, and I find my family. I found my biological family. I never expected that to happen. I found out that I had a cousin. Uh, that I went to college with, and I told her, "Thank God we didn't sleep together." Uh, I, I met I, I met my niece. I have a niece who lives not too far from me, and I met my half sister. That's amazing. It was it, it was it was so unbelievable. I and mean, we're talking about using the database for, you know, genetic testing, which is huge because these companies need this. But it ended up being profound for me. It ended up being profound, and it was really amazing. Is I was this prodigal son. That they knew that Elaine had given up for adoption, but they didn't know where he went. 
And in 2017, in December, suddenly this person appeared on their Ancestry DNA profile. And I went to my cousin's house. It was like January 7th, and they kept the Christmas tree up for me. And my daughter. I've got a son and my wife. They weren't able to make it. But they kept the Christmas tree up, and I welcomed. I was welcomed into a new family. So that's the kind of the profound part of the story. It's pretty cool. So, That's Lindsay, awesome. if you That's, do... I mean, think of how many uh, things had to basically align for that to happen. Lindsay, it used to be, if you were adopted, you had to, you have to get a court order. You'd have to try to get into uh, the, the database to get your original birth certificate and all this crap. I found everybody. So, now, you, you said you had some questions about the father side of your family. What's going on there? Oh, and nothing, you know, like exciting or like tmz worthy i, I thought just, certainly your father's side would be at least serial killer um, i mean there, nothing. Might, there <laughs> might be i don't you know maybe that's what i want to find out you know actually the, the interesting thing the yeah. one thing i want to find out is that there is a well-known hockey coach in the state of minnesota whose last name is mike gensel yeah his full name is mike gensel we share the same last name yeah. we also share um very large foreheads and i would like to know if we are related to one another because everyone right. assumes we are they assume he's my father oh. And, you know, I, I haven't been able to milk any of the benefits of not being his daughter. Yeah. So maybe I can see if we're long lost cousins. But no lie, if you put my face next to Mike Gensel's face, the foreheads match up. Let me tell you, I can't wait to hear the results. You've got to do this. And and be ready. Be ready. You're either going to be, uh, you know, not surprised or you're going to be, holy crap, what did I just do? <laughs> because it, it, to me, it was life changing. It was it was just nuts. Just crazy. Uh, anyway, are you going to do this anytime soon? Come, do it. Get no, the, I just bought a house. All of my money is. Like, get the station to pay for it. It'd be a great bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we'll have an air, a chat off air. About the station. All right, all right. Let's talk a little bit about. Let me ask you this, Lindsay. Yes, it's where we're talking here uh, together. Um, there's a new survey out about the perfect day. We typically, apparently, enjoy 15 truly perfect days every year as Americans. Okay. 2,000 American adults surveyed. Um, some of the great things that involve a perfect day would be the weather in Minneapolis today and, and St. Paul. A perfect day would entail a sunny spring-like forecast, 74 degrees. Uh, it'd be people are being able to enjoy uh, three hours outside, four hours with their family, three hours with friends, then coming home and watching TV. What's your perfect day? I actually had it a couple of weeks ago. What was it? Tell me. Absolutely perfect Saturday. Yeah. I'm very lucky. My boyfriend's family has a boat on Lake Minnetonka. Oh, yes. And we had it for the day. So we packed up a ton of food, a ton of drinks. We had all of our favorite people on the boat. And we went to this um, shallow area of the lake. It's yeah. off of this little peninsula. And yeah. everyone docks up. And we just played in the water with his nephews. We had like the lily pad, the floating lily pad out. Nice. And no lie, we were in the water until about 8 30 because it was so perfect i love it, was, it i mean there was no breeze it wasn't cold and then at 8 30 we thought we should probably have dinner and so then we went to a place on the lake and we had burgers outside and oh. i went home and i fell asleep on the couch watching a movie and i woke up the next day and went yep that was it that was great that's awesome that is, that is a that is a great uh, for me it involves cooking um and and the end of a perfect day involves uh, some dead cow on the grill. I love a I love a glorious steak. Like, and I only do it every once in a while. But a glorious steak or some great barbecue, and watching my family or my friends enjoy a meal that is a that is a great day for me. Uh, it involves maybe working out, doing a great show like on WCCO, which you may agree or disagree is great that I've done today. But this is this has so far been a great day. And tonight, my wife and I we're going to have a, a terrific meal. Uh, some of the things that people say help constitute a great day. Listening to your favorite album. Lindsay, do you have a favorite album? Oh, I don't know if I have a favorite album, but I definitely have a playlist. Yes, uh, exactly. No, I, uh, I, uh, my, my favorite probably changes daily. Right Mine now, too. I'm really into the soundtrack from Waitress the Musical. I, I haven't that seen that. Kind of, oh, it's amazing. I haven't like seen that. musicals. It's funny. It's clever. It's a spinoff of a movie that came out in the 2000s. Well, as much as I love show tunes, um, yes, I, I love show tunes. I, I go, I go to Alexa and I'll have her play. Oh God, she's right behind me. I might've fired her up. I've got a, I've got Alexa in the, in the studio. Uh, uh, Foo Fighters radio. Um, last night it was Michael Buble of all things. Listen to uh, Michael Buble. Some other things, and this is where it's going to get really girly. Um, uh, listening to your favorite album, watching the sunset or sunrise, holding hands with someone you love, 
Cuddling with your partner before getting up to start your day. Cuddling with your pet after a long day. Waking up to birds chirping. Petting a cat. Ooh, I hate cats. Cooking your favorite meal. These are all the things that people say constitute a perfect day. Yeah. No, oh, here's the number one. Nice glass of beer or wine after a long day. That's going to have to be my favorite thing. So that's, that's the perfect day for me. That's the perfect day. Oh, did you hear about this? Have you done Uber lately? Again, I have met some amazing people in a very short amount of time. The other night, oddly enough, I was riding home in a cab, and this guy, uh, it was from Ethiopia. And uh, and I said, wow, you're Ethiopia. Where have you lived lately? And he goes, well, yeah, I moved here from Washington, D.C. And I said, I lived in Washington, D.C. for a dozen years after I left Minneapolis doing radio. And he goes, really? Well, what station were you on? I said, the station. And he said, what's your name? And I said, Rob Carson. He goes, oh, my God, I used to listen to you all the time. Then I had another Uber rider yesterday. It was, it, was, it, was, it was neat. You can learn a lot of things. You can also be defrauded by some Uber riders, a very small percentage. Did you hear about uh, Uber vomit fraud? <laughs> yes, yes, it's real. Uber vomit fraud apparently is real. What it is is you got Uber riders who apparently have a picture of somebody throwing up in their car, the, the, the remnants, and what they do is they report you to Uber saying that they are the victim of Somebody in their car who had drink, drunk too much. And I, I can't imagine being an Uber driver because I imagine there's a lot of this stuff going on. This allows the, uh, the driver to bill customers anywhere from $80 to $150, depending on uh, uh, the state that the driver was in. And a lot of the times, the, uh, the, the person there gets a, uh, this bill on their, on their credit card or whatever, and they go, what the hell happened? But it didn't really happen. It's, a, it's Uber vomit fraud. Now, there is a way to get around it, but apparently... Some people just don't even bother with it. You know, maybe you got too much money, you don't want to fight it. But a lot of times, if you just pursue Uber, they can they can make this go away. But apparently, it's a big deal. Uber vomit front. I know it's weird. It's weird. Oh, by the way, Dave Lee's backyard bash. You can go bowling for a good cause. Join us for the first ever backyard bash with Dave Lee to benefit Boulder Options Youth Mentoring. Join us at the Brookview Golf Course and Lawn Bowling in Golden Valley on Friday marvelous place august 10th uh, at eight o'clock in the morning register for the uh, team or just join us for breakfast and watch the uh, uh lawn bowl events for boulder options find more information at wccoradio.com slash events slash events i've still got a couple things i want to get to but the, our time is nigh in the city of san francisco two city supervisors have introduced legislation that would nix Free lunch at work. Have you ever worked at a place where they provided lunch for you? I'm just going to tell you, I, I worked at Hubbard Broadcasting in the 90s. And, and you, it, was, it was an inexpensive lunch, but they had a cafeteria. It was very old school. They had a cafeteria. It was wonderful. It was a wonderful place to, uh, uh, to meet with others. You could even sit with uh, Jenny, the, the CEO of the company. She was a really, really great person. But apparently in San Francisco, they have a real problem with this because some of these, uh, these startups, Twitter, Uber, and all these places, they have chef-prepared food in the cafeteria and it's keeping people from going to outside restaurants near the company this is so stupid so they're going after these uh companies and saying basically san francisco has a rich history of culinary expertise and cuisine we're not talking about taking away a perk but we're basically saying that eh, you know you shouldn't get free lunch when there are restaurants nearby that you could uh, you could eat at and it's been impacted listen to the restaurant that's been impacted by this Anthony McQuinn is a uh, co-owner of uh, a restaurant called The Perennial, a sophisticated eatery, eatery that features aquaponic kale and McFarland Springs, McFarland Springs trout, not far from Twitter. He says that they've struggled to stay afloat. Here's why. Because you serve aquaponic kale and McFarland Springs trout. That's why you're failing. All right. How much time do I have, Lindsay, before the break? Uh, we should take a break right now. Let's take a break right now. My name is Rob Carson. Back to wrap things up in just a second on News Radio 830 WCCO. WCCO. All right, when we come back, I need to do the Linda's construction growing business. You did good, by the way. I enjoy talking to you. The new business hat. The hey, thanks. The it's been fun. Yeah. Good hour. The right. sifting through tons of resumes. So the hats. Lindus Construction time check, time to make your home energy com. efficient with season guard windows, job, and then I'm back to talk. Take it to the top of the hour, which is 5735. Okay. Qualified candidates. So go ahead, dust off that extra long lunch hat. Hiring's better when you've got your short list. Save time on hiring when you post a job on Indeed. Get started today at indeed.com slash hire.
Adam Carter with Colette going to Spain next April. I'd like you to come with me. It's a wonderful trip. Eight days, three days in Madrid, three days in Barcelona. We'll take the high-speed train between the two cities. Again, we leave next April with Colette. Colette is celebrating 100 years in travel. It's a fantastic company. This will be my second trip with Colette, and I cannot wait because there's so much to do in Spain and so much to eat. Great food in Spain, local wines, dinners included on this trip. We'll go to Barcelona. We'll see Anthony Gaudi's La Sagrada Familia. We'll go to La Bocaria, Barcelona's oldest open-air market. Madrid, too, the Prado Museum, all of it. We'll see Toledo, the former capital of medieval Spain. It's all part of this extensive <coughs> journey we're going to take with Colette. Can you give me 30 Barcelona seconds before the end of the uh, next April 8th, the show that I can just kind of talk over it? Okay, thanks. Yeah, of course. Give me some good Adam. music. Adam. Carter at and then I'm back on Tuesday, by the way. Adam. Carter at Intercom. Great, give me one second here. Just wrapping us up in live. No problem. CCORadio.com slash Madrid. I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans, America's premier home purchase lender. We've created a new way to protect you from unpredictable interest rates. Our exclusive Rate Shield approval. First, we lock your interest rate for up to 90 days. Then, if rates go up, your rate stays locked. But if rates go down, your rate drops. Either way, you win. Call us today at 800 Quicken or go to rocketmortgage.com. <clears throat> rate Shield approval only valid on certain 30 year fixed rate loans. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. Licensed in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Additional conditions or exclusions may apply. If you're a pro, you don't buy a little of this or that. You buy a lot of this or that. And at the Home Depot, you save even more. Save up to 15% in bulk discounts on select pro grade products from top brands like 3M, Loctite, and Liquid Nails. As a pro, you work hard for your money. You shouldn't have to work hard to save it. Up to 15% in bulk discounts on select pro grade products. Only at the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. See store for details. Hey, this is Travis Whitford with Bay Equity Home Loans. Getting a mortgage is more than just rates. It's about developing a plan for one of the biggest investments that you'll make in your life. Bay Equity Loan Officers are specially trained to find the best program available to you. As a direct lender, we can prepare a loan pre-approval that will show sellers you are qualified to buy their house. Check us out at BayEquityHomeLoans.com. Bay Equity Home Loans, NMLS number 76988, Equal Housing Lender. MLO and MLS number 230941. As experts in the industry, all right, we're back the in 45. Uh, just come out of the break, do the Lindis construction right away, okay. and then you've got, uh, I'll give you a 30 second bumper music, but out at 5735. Lovely, thank you. Engagement with their peers and loved ones. Their fantastic amenities include restaurant style dining, a game room, fitness, salon, and an amazing personalized chef. Bring your loved one home by visiting the website, thewellsteadofrogers.com, to learn more about their caring <clears throat> and compassionate community. On the Morning News Monday, we broadcast live from Interlochen Golf Club as we bring you the 14th Annual Federated Challenge for Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Join us Monday, 6 to 9, on the Morning News with Dave Lee from the Carrier Cooling Studios on site at Interlochen. Coming back. It's the uh, Linda's Construction Time Check. It's uh, 2.55. Time to check, or time, time to make your home energy efficient with Season Guard Windows. Rob Carson is my name, and I'm filling in for Chad Hartman. It is an honor and a privilege to be here on the, uh, on the show. We've covered a lot of ground today. If you'd like to actually see the show that we've done today on WCCO, y- you can see the studio and the audio and video clips. Just go to uh, Facebook at Rob Carson Show. It's going to post that in a couple minutes. You can see it. It's kind of fun. You could see, uh, you know, this guy in my studio and all that stuff. It's kind of fun. And then, of course, just just uh, friend me on Rob Carson's show, and uh, you could see my weekly uh, video podcast. I do a video and audio podcast a couple times a week, and I use video clips. It looks like The Daily Show, but it's kind of a libertarian-leaning conservative version of The uh, the Daily Show. So apparently, you know, this, this uh, plastic straw ban is extending across the country, and I have no problem with it. I'm one of those people, and even though, yes, I know I'm a conservative, but I actually care about the environment. You know, we're not supposed to, right? But I, I, don't, like, I don't like using a plastic fork one time. I don't buy those plastic, clear plastic plates that you buy at the store and throw those away. I don't like that. I, I just don't. Why, why would I th- throw that away? Maybe it's my Midwest upbringing, you know? You clean up, <laughs> you clean up your plate before you get up. And and when the, when the plate is uh, you know it's, it's plastic you don't throw it away and use it again. And I use forks when I go to I'll go to D- D- Dairy Queen I'll get a plastic spoon I'll put it in the dishwasher. It's, 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 well, I use it just once. I go to I go to Sam's Club or whatever and I get a, and I get a box to put my groceries in. You know why? Because you're using the box again. 
Santa Barbara, California, they're banning plastic straws, and you could go to jail. Apparently, first-time offenders get a written warning, then the second offense could be met with a fine of a thousand bucks and six months in prison. <laughs> could you imagine telling your cellmate, "What are you in for?" Yeah. I robbed the convenience store. How about you? Yeah, my business, we had some plastic straws. Uh huh. <laughs> the assistant uh, city attorney, Scott Vincent, said that uh, criminal charges would probably be pursued only for repeat offenders. I mean, because, you know, if you sell more than one plastic straw, you need to go to jail. Uh, and other aggravating, aggravating circumstances. And apparently, a lot of you know, disabled people are upset about this because if you ban straws, a lot of disabled people need straws to drink through because they can't eat you know like like a lot of people all right it's just unbelievable unbelievable all right it's time for me to go guys um it's been a real joy to be here if you get a chance to follow me on facebook it's rob carson show if you want to see my face or my 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 cooking videos just go to monkey c.com m-o-n-k-y-e-y-s-e-e.com look for rob carson if you're going to be cooking this weekend uh it's been a blessing to be on i hear i'm back on uh, on tuesday all right have a glorious weekend, and I will see you again then on News Radio 830 WCCO. Thanks, Lindsay. You rock. Listen to WCCO on FM at 1029. All right, so I'll touch base with you here after just a second. I've got to get um, out of here for Jordana and Paul. Oh, very good, very good. I'll, um, I'll touch base with you. Give me one second. Jordana right. Green here. The cat's out of the bag. The Minnesota Independent Insurance Association and its 760 members have voted the Canopy Group the 2018 Agency of the Year. But the real credit goes to you, the listeners who have embraced the message of having 20 professionals and 16 different insurance companies. You took action and replaced your one agent with one company to get more options for home and auto insurance. But it gets better. Listeners who took action have saved over for three and a half million dollars in premiums. So what are you waiting for? Great people, great process, great partnering companies. The Canopy Group is honored to be named the 2018 Independent Insurance Agency of the Year. Now it's time for you to take action and start saving money. They can help you and they'll prove it. Visit thecanopygroup.com or call them now. 800-967-3389. 800-967-3389. Congratulations to our friends at the Canopy Group. For over 25 years, Safe Basements of Minnesota has been repairing foundations and waterproofing basements. Have you noticed your doors not closing completely, seeing cracks around your windowsills, or do you have a bowed foundation wall? Well, these are all signs which could lead to foundation failure. If you're concerned or unsure, their team of foundation repair professionals will come to your home, pinpoint the cause, and then come up with a plan of action. Learn more at safebasements.com. I'm Jesse Treble, and peace of mind is a safe basement. A new Lennox air conditioner is under $2,500 from KNS. That's installed, wired, permits, all done. If you don't call KNS, you're paying too much. Track them down. 952 697 Heat or ksheating.com. Heading to the cabin this weekend, be sure to take WCCO with you. 830 WCCO and WCCO HD, Minneapolis, St. Paul. A radio.com station. CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Quicken Loans. I'm Jim Taylor. It's deadly. It's out of control. It's raging right now in Redding, California. Devastating. Homes were exploding. Cars were exploding. Tom Mahan ran into a burning neighborhood to help save the home of his friend, firefighter Donovan Lee. It was pretty intense. Lee did save his home, hosing it down as flames surrounded him. There were a couple times when I was thinking, like, oh, maybe this wasn't a, a good idea. It just kind of makes me a little sick. Judy Hine lost the home she lived in for 18 years. Are you guys watching on uh, enough time <clears throat> to gather some Liberty One and, of course, my podcast. Thank you for watching this, today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing kind of an inside uh, fire uh, one fire picture of doing a radio a show in a wonderful radio station, Redding, which, of course, is a WCCO in Minneapolis. I will be back on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. And President Trump is all about it. I'm thrilled to announce that... In the second quarter of this year, the United States economy grew at the amazing rate of 4.1%.